John Les here of Les Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. I've got a really cool test for you today, but it's not a broadhead test. I love testing broadheads. That's my bread and butter here on this channel. But I also love testing uh, different pieces of archery gear or hunting gear. I test a lot of bows. I test arrows. I test different targets. And today I'm going to be testing these things called the bad boys. They're FOC arrow sleeves made by Pro Tracker Archery. They, uh, they reached out to me the other day and asked if I would be interested in testing these. Well, interestingly enough, just a couple of years ago, I was wanting to know how I could increase my, uh, my FOC and increase my total arrow weight without having to change my inserts, without having to change my arrows, and without having to change my, my broadheads. And I even asked in the online forums, does anybody have any ideas of how to do that? And people were like, no, there's no way you can really do that. And so uh, I even tried different things. I tried wrapping electrical tape around the end of my arrow just to give it a little more weight up front. I tried using lead tape wrapped around it just to give it even more total arrow weight and more FOC and those things. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't work very well. But that that's what these bad boys are designed to do. They're designed to increase your FOC, increase your total arrow weight, which will help you have better long range flight and better penetration. Even within your same draw length, your same draw weight, if you increase your FOC, and especially if you increase your total arrow weight, then you will increase your momentum and increase your penetration. So maybe with the animal you're hunting, you want even better penetration than what you're getting with your present setup, but you don't want to buy new arrows, new inserts, and you can't increase the poundage of your bow or your draw length. Well, this could be a good solution if they work to give you greater penetration. Or maybe you're happy with your present setup, but you're going after a bigger animal. And you go, man, now I'm going to hunt these bears or something like that. And you want to have a little extra penetration, but you don't want to change everything about your, your arrow setup. So you can try these bad boys to increase your total arrow weight. They come in weights of 62 grains all the way up to 300 grains. So you can radically increase your FOC and radically increase your momentum and your penetrating power just by using these arrow sleeves. They're super fast, super easy to install. There's no glue, they're not permanent, and they have one other cool feature that they have a, a thickness to them based on their weight. And what that's designed to do is as it sits on the prongs of your rest, and you gotta use a fall away rest for them, but as they sit on the prongs of your rest, the thickness raises them a little bit over where your normal shaft would lie. And the, the heavier the bad boy sleeve is, then the thicker it is, the higher it's going to rest on your rest or lay on your rest. And what that does is it gives it a little more loft and allows it to fly a little bit higher, to, to launch a little bit higher, and thus have the same point of impact that your normal arrows would have without that extra added weight. That's their claim, that at 20 yards, maybe even 30 yards, maybe even 40 yards, you can have the same point of impact as your present arrow, but it would be a lot heavier and with a lot more FOC. So if it can do all that, then man, they're really onto something here. And I'm gonna to test to see if it can in fact do all that. So the way I'm gonna test it is first I'm gonna test for flight. And I'm gonna shoot uh, three different arrows uh, with different weights at 20 yards, 30 yards, and 40 yards. First, I'm going to shoot an arrow that's just uh, my, my control arrow, just a basic arrow with no bad boy, no extra weight, 392 grains. Then I'm going to shoot that arrow with uh, a 62 grain bad boy. Then I'm going to shoot a, a, an arrow that has that same weight as the one with the 62 grain bad boy, but it's without a bad boy. The weight is added uh, just by the point itself. And then I'm going to do it with a 100 grain bad boy. And then I'm going to shoot it with a, a, an arrow without the bad boy with an extra 100 grains and see how that varies in flight. Then I'm going to do the same thing with 125 grains. And I'm going to do that at 20 yards, 30 yards, and 40 yards and see how well the bad boys fly compared to the original arrow weight and compared to the extra arrow weight without that extra loft. Okay, I know it sounds complicated, but, but you'll see as we, as we go through this flight test. Then I'm going to test for penetration and I'm going to test for, for durability and see what kind of impact these bad boys have on that as well. But first, let's zoom on in here, go through some of the design features and specifications, and then we'll put these bad boys to the test.
So here's what the bad boy looks like. It's just a, a hollow tube, as you can see there, and it's made out of 7075 aluminum, so a really tough aluminum. It's stronger than some steels, has a good strength to weight ratio, and, uh, and it's four inches long, and all of them are four inches long. This is the 125 grain model, but they also come in a 62 grain model, and then they've got a 100 grain model, and then they have the 125, they have 150, they have a 200, a 250, even a 300. And you can either get them in all black, or you can get them in different uh, color combinations. And they're, the colors are coordinated with uh, the weight, so they, they have a consistent color to weight coordination. And they come uh, either three in a pack of the same weight, or you can get a variety pack to try different ones. Now I want to demonstrate one of these and show you how easy it is to work. This is the 125 grain model. And here I've got an arrow with a total weight of 392 grains. I've got a 100 grain field point, and my FOC is 9.6%. The front of center, the weight that's uh, ahead of the midpoint of the arrow is 9.6%. Say I really want to beef that up because I want deeper penetration either with the same animal I've been hunting or going after a bigger animal. And say I'm gonna try this 125 grain model. You just slide it over the end of the, the arrow shaft and then you just screw on the field point all the way on so it's really tight and that's it. And it's super secure, it's super tight on there. And by just doing that, I've increased my total arrow weight from 392 to 517 grains. And I've increased my FOC from 9.6% to 17.8%. And I've done that in about five seconds, okay? Like it's it's really interesting. And then this, uh, this diameter, you notice how thick it is, okay? And they're tapered on both sides, about one inch taper here, one inch taper there. And then you've got the maximum diameter right in the center. You wanna line up the prongs of your drop away rest, and they only work with drop away rests, you wanna line up the prongs right about in the center, in that center two inches. And that way, the extra height caused by this extra diameter, this extra thickness, is what compensates for the drop from your normal arrow shaft, okay? So again, the theory is that you can use the same sight picture, use the same pin, out to you know 20, 30, perhaps even 40 yards, not have to change anything, and then use a much heavier uh, setup to get a lot better penetration. And then it's not permanent. If you go, nah, I wanna go back to my normal one, well, you just unscrew it, and you're right back to normal. So if you're hunting two different species, I did that in Africa, uh, about a year and a half ago, I was going after Plains game, but then also going after a Cape Buffalo. And you know, you wanna change things like that. You can do so just in the field using the same arrow shaft. And then when you add this extra four inches, it, it also functions like a footer in some ways. And so you're increasing uh, the stiffness of the spine a bit by adding that, and that helps compensate for the extra weight that would cause the, the spine to, you know, to be, need to be a bit stiffer. And you're also uh, probably protecting the arrow with a bit more durability, or even if it were to, uh, to the, the, the inside were to mushroom or something like that, it's gonna hold together because it's covered by this sleeve. So those are just kind of secondary purposes to it, but the primary one is to increase the total arrow weight and increase the FOC. Now I'm really eager to test this and see how it really flies and see how it really penetrates and see how durable it really is. Let's put these bad boys to the test. Let's start at 20 yards. At 20 yards with the extra 62 grains, they all had the same basic point of impact. At each weight level, I just keep the control arrow in there, and you can see the uh, the two arrows with an extra 100 grains, again, basically at the same point of impact at 20 yards.
At 517 grains, you can see the arrow with the bad boy and the, uh, the lighter arrow had the same point of impact, but the arrow at 517 grains without the bad boy dropped about two inches. Now let's do this again at 30 yards. At 30 yards, you can see the 392 grain arrow and the 454 grain arrow with the 62 grain bad boy had the same uh, basic elevation, but the 450 grain arrow without the bad boy dropped about three inches. And you can see the same basic results with the 100 grain addition. The 492 grain arrow with the bad boy and the 392 grain arrow basically had the same point of impact. And then the uh, 492 grain arrow without the bad boy dropped about three inches. And at 517 grains, the arrow with the bad boy dropped about two inches and the arrow without the bad boy at 517 grains dropped about four inches. Now let's run the test at 40 yards. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of those shots, but you can see the control arrow was dead on. And then you see the, uh, the arrow with the 62 grain bad boy is about an inch and a half below it. And then the arrow with the extra 62 grains without the bad boy uh, was about four inches below the control arrow. And at 492 grains, the, uh, the control arrow is right there in the same spot. The arrow with the, the 100 grain bad boy had uh, dropped about, about an inch. And then the arrow without the bad boy uh, had dropped about four and a half, five inches or so. And here at 40 yards at 517 grains, you see the biggest difference, that the bad boy basically had the same point of impact, but then the, uh, the extra 125 grains without the bad boy dropped, oh gosh, probably like seven, eight inches below that. First, the 392 grain arrow with no bad boy. Now we'll add 125 grain bad boy. The original arrow got stuck on the fletching, but the arrow with the bad boy went clean through it, even ripped off the veins and stuck just a little bit into the target behind it. And then here you can see the difference in the hole size. That extra diameter really does make a bigger hole. And I know that would impede penetration in some ways, but even in the MDF, it blew through it more cleanly while having a much bigger hole. Here it is after impacting the concrete. And man, I'm really surprised. I didn't think it was gonna be able to hold together like that, but it uh, it still spins well and there's just no damage uh, to the bad boy. The tip uh, embedded pretty deeply there into the concrete, as you can see, but it's still in great shape and spins very well. And then here's the arrow with the bad boy taken off and you can see it's still in excellent shape. Any wobble, if there is any, is so slight, I can't see it with the naked eye, and it's probably uh, just due to the concrete being fused around that tip, but really impressive. I'm not sure how much durability it gained because of the bad boy, but not many arrows can handle uh, being hit like that, especially with this extra weight that came from the bad boy being on it in the first place. So what did you think of the bad boy? Hey, I tell you what, these things really do accomplish what they set out to accomplish. A super fast, super easy, uh, super secure way to increase your FOC and increase your total arrow weight. So increase your momentum and increase the penetration. Really well designed. I, I was skeptical about the flight. But man, even with the 125 grain one out to 40 yards, they flew at the same point of impact as the much lighter arrow. That was super impressive. And then, uh, and then the penetration was really good. I mean, it blew through that MDF, even though it makes a much wider hole like that. And then the durability into the concrete. So in every area, it was really impressive. I, I will note a couple things. First of all, and I said it before, but you wanna make sure that uh, in using your drop away rest, and they only work with drop away rests, that you, uh, you, you line it up to where at full 
draw, it's going to be right in the middle of the bad boy, right about the two inch mark. That's where you're going to get the flight uh, offset like that so it doesn't drop. And then another thing is, as the, the weights increase, so the diameter increases by design. And uh, I, I had a problem at 150 grains. That one was too wide to fit into the prongs of my fall away rest, okay? I use a, a Q80 Ultra Rest and I have the narrow uh, little little um, uh, prongs on it there. And so it was a little too fat to fit in there. Um, but that's something to keep in mind when you're, when you're ordering them or something. Of course, you can easily change out the little prongs to a wider one and many other models of rest don't have that issue at all, but that's something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is as you get uh, into the greater weights and as the, uh, the diameter gets uh, greater, gets a little bit wider here, so the penetration can be a little more challenged. So you're increasing the momentum, which is gonna increase the penetration, but you got a bit wider of a hole that you're making into the animal. However, what I would recommend is if you use a three blade or a four blade broadhead, then you're going to open up that wound channel and through tissue it's just going to go through pretty easily. I wouldn't recommend using a two blade broadhead with the wider designs because you might have a little bit more trouble uh, with the penetration there. But keep in mind those cautions. But I tell you what, if you're wanting a simple way to increase your total arrow weight, increase your FOC, you ought to check out these bad boys. Okay, it kind of sounds funny like that, but check out these bad boys from, uh, from Pro Tracker. They, they really do get the job done.